looking at the leadership at, say, two and a half weeks' time, what or who would you like to see emerge out of that leadership? I think in the first instance, you want, you want a leadership that is, as I said earlier on, has a firm grasp of the totality of the problems that we are confronted with. Secondly, has the experience uh, to deal with these problems in terms of the variety of uh, experiences they've had both in life and in, in, in terms of their own uh, work experiences over time. Thirdly, uh, have a deep commitment to putting the country first as opposed to personal interests first. Fourthly, be equally committed to eradicating grand corruption uh, and take the firmest possible action against those, uh, either they in the form of entities or individuals, who have actually brought our country to, to its knees at this point in time. And fifthly, deal with uh, the stormtroopers uh, of the corrupt who will constantly attack those who are trying to do the right things. Uh, an example of this would be the kind of way members of parliament uh, have been intimidated or threatened or offered bribes uh, just because there's a single inquiry uh, into, into one institution. Let that inquiry take place in other institutions, what will we be left with? So the sum total of all of those qualities, uh, I, I think, and, and, and you require a new modernity, an understanding of where the modern world is today and where will it be in five years' time, and what is it going to take for us to become a competitive country that can truly provide jobs for uh, in the private sector, in the public sector, and in uh, terms of self-employment for the millions of people who today live without any hope of participation in our economy. And accompanying that must be a speedy uh, attention given to transforming fundamental issues that we are confronted with by virtue of our history. The exclusion, the dominance of big businesses, the shortage of small and micro businesses, the lack of appropriate support for small businesses and startups, uh, and, and better training for young people so that they can actually either create their own businesses or slot into uh, new possibilities that might, the economy might have to offer. So if you take all of that together, it, it's very clear for me that, uh, and I've said this before, uh, that Mr. Ramaphosa would be able to put together a team uh, that could offer that possibility for South Africa.